Now, due to the rise in mobile phones over the last few years, young people now believe it's perfectly acceptable to make late-night telephone calls. Once considered the height of bad manners to ring after 9.30 p.m. and before 8.30 a.m., unless it was an emergency, of course, the post office study found that around 64% of 18 to 24-year-olds would call a mobile at any time of the day or night. So, ladies, when would you consider it too late to phone a friend or for After them to call you. After half past six, I don't like people to ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm terrible. Six. And I have to say, I'm, I'm a complete hypocrite because I am terrible sometimes at getting back to people. Um, in fact, somebody that, that I'm working with and I should have got back to, and I hadn't because I was having such a good time in Bangkok, so sent me this letter which made me, it was this message that made me laugh when we were there, saying, as ex Cory actors go, it would be easier to get in touch with Violet Carson than with me. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. So, so I do understand people ringing me. It's just that I think that because, because we're, all, we're all busy, when, when it's, you go home and it's, you've got little ones and it's the, it's the tea time and then you flop down on the sofa to watch your favourite serial killer documentary or something like I do, <laughs> I just can't bear being disturbed, particularly by the landline, because I always think it will be somebody asking me to do something that I don't want or somebody that I don't know well enough that hasn't phoned my mobile phone, so I don't want to talk to them. And Louis, knowing this, I go, don't answer the phone. Louis goes... Hello? Yes, she is. Mummy! <laughs> All the time, and it does my head in. But, I mean, even if Tim and I are apart, which is quite a long time, if he has wronged me by a certain time and I'm in the middle of watching something on my telly and I see Tim, I still go... Because I can't <laughs> even be bothered. I send him a little text going, glad you're all right, and Aww. string follows by, but... <laughs> well, I don't think I've answered my home phone for about... Three years, three or four years. Your landline. My landline, yeah. Not? Well, because does anyone ever ring it? Yeah, it rings all the time. It rings constantly. But I tell you, every single time I have answered it, it's a recorded voice. Would you like to buy insurance? Yeah. No! And I end up shouting at it every single time. It's either a double glazing salesman or it's mm. someone from a mobile phone company trying to sell you a dodgy deal. It's always dodgy, so I never, ever answer it. Well, what about it. on your mobile? If a, friend, if a friend rang you at one in the morning for a chat, we would you be furious? Them, well, we shout. do, yeah, usually Drink on a Friday and night and, you know, people are out down the pub and... I, I just... I, turn, I put it on silent when I go to sleep because I just don't want to be woken up by drunken people. Mm, I mean, I, I know I've done I, it. I'm guilty of it. And I but... have, I, I'm a hypocrite because I have been the drink and dial drunken person as well, doing the one o'clock phone yeah. call. That's I always save the messages and then play them back to them the next well, day. Well, I, yeah. I used to bring my mobile up to bed with me until I got every Friday night at about three in the morning I'd answer it and I'm in the mood for dancing, we'd be playing down the phone. <laughs> <laughs> and all the crew from here going, yeah. the plane is on! Yeah. And I was like, it's three in the morning. <laughs> oh, just sing a bit, just it. sing a bit. And with all my friends... Oh, but see, thank goodness for call screening. That is the way mm. forward now because you get that not only on your mobile but your house phone yeah. and you can just decide you go oh no oh, she's talked too downstairs. long oh i don't get is... that on my house phone can you get that on yeah, your yeah, house yeah, yeah, I, I, don't. Call her ID. I don't even look at it you can get a caller id mm. but i can't bear it i can't I, <laughs> I actually think there is an etiquette i would never ring anybody you know if i suddenly think oh i must ring my mom or i must ring a friend i always look at the clock and think oh i don't know it's 20 past nine because i'm kind of winding down then myself and i hate people ringing me late and like you i always panic if yeah. the phone goes i'm like that peter k sketch you know yeah. who's that who's that calling <laughs> who's that calling <laughs> Because <laughs> answer it, find yeah. out. When it calls in the early hours, if, if it literally goes like two or three in the morning, I assume that it's obviously bad news, which is which is horrible, or it's this uh, girlfriend who is not that much of a friend anymore, who it will nearly always be. Mm. Either telling me that she loves the bones of me or that she's always hated me. But do your kids <laughs> though? Because we're talking about you know young people now. They don't think well, the it's worst thing bad is I've to call. Well, bringing my mobile up to bed now, and I have to tell you this story, and I only hope he's out today. <laughs> because I left, I left my phone downstairs, and Shane Junior, my son, had gone out on the, on the Friday night, and um, I got up the next morning, and I always check my phone when I get up, and I'd had a missed call at ten to four in the morning, and of course my heart sank because I thought, and it said Shane Junior, and I thought, oh my God, something bad has happened because he would never phone me at that time of the morning unless it was something horrendous. I'm thinking he's been arrested or he's been in a fight or just something horrible. So it's gone on to voicemails. So I've listened and I've thought. It's very strange. What the hell's that? And then I've listened a bit more and I've heard. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> oh, yes, ladies. <gasps> no. I mean, you know, I'm a very open minded.
minded mother, but there are certain things I don't want to hear my child doing, and that was one of them. And why did he have his phone while he was doing it? You see, lock your face. Shane Jr., get that lock. But do you know, you know what I did? In your pocket, Rather you than embarrass him, because everyone went, oh, you didn't tell him. I said, I did. I texted him. You did. I put, who were you with at that time last night? And he went, oh my God, how do you know? I went, I'm your mother, I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Now we, know, now we know why you'd make a good spy when well, he thinks you would, anyway. Well, you'll need to.